YouTube. In this video, I will walk you through probably one of the best ROM available for OnePlus 2, which is known as Cosmic OS. It is based on AUSB ROM 7.1.2 Android Nougat. So if you go to settings menu, you can see I'm using the Cosmic OS version 2.0 official. And you can see about details of Cosmic ROM here. And then here you can see I'm running on Android version Nougat 7.1.2. And this is the security batch level, it's June 5, 2017. And you're gonna find other details here. As I mentioned earlier, this is kind of one of the best ROM you could find for the OnePlus 2, which a lot of features, like this is the menu here. Let's go ahead and check out the ROM specific. Go to settings menu, you can find a regular network settings, and below you can see cosmic OS tweaks. This so these are the ROM specific tweaks in the galaxy. You can find lock screen settings, you can do media cover, double tap to sleep anywhere, key guard, status bar clock, scramble layout, display music visualizer. In the notification drawer, you can uh, customize all the aspects of the notification bar. Smart build on is there, force expanded notifications, wake lock, wake lock blocker, power notification controls, brightness slider things like that and then in the status bar you can again customize all the aspects of the status bar icons including battery style you can customize it, it, like any kind of like colors everything you can change from here and then carrier level if you want to add you can add customize clock network traffic if you want to show there you can do that status bar icon you can customize and besides that you have here we have double tap to sleep brightness control, show notification count options and then the reasons, it will show you the reasons menu if you want to uh, see the default reasons menu if you want to show memory bar, you can, on the top you can see the memory it is using and there are immense reasons are there, full screen reasons are there status bar only so th these are some uh, reasons menu options you can find and if you want to add a clear but all button it will be there on the down here you can see the clear all button and you can also spe specify the location that button should come i'll leave that in the default sections and here is the navigation bar so if you want to add navigation buttons you can click here and and add it and then you can customize all the aspects of that you can even uh, add the pulse options And then here you have uh, the power menu so you can add or remove all the power menu options here if you want to add a screen record there so you can add so you can find it here these options are really helpful and the next one is buttons so you can customize the buttons like volume buttons control media volume volume button wake music control with screen off long pressing the volume key will seek the tracks so volume up button swap, volume key cursor control, volume down for, for do not disturb, do not disturb switches here, disable navigation buttons and you can also customize the single tap, long tap, double tap uh, buttons of the back button, home button and then overview buttons. So you can basically customize all features of these buttons. Next one is a display, you can see wake on on plug is there notification light you can customize the light and then battery light also you can customize and here on the down you can find miscellaneous so scrolling cache and screenshot delay so these are the options in the galaxy section and then here is the apps ops so you here from here you can customize the different application settings it will give you a more control of each application it is running on then we have this display option you can find the regular display options like expanded uh, desktop night light ambient display and then regular sounds apps gestures so here you can find the jump to camera by tapping double tapping the power button while the screen is off or even it will work on any screens so you can see Double tapping the power button is opening the camera in any screens. A battery you can find battery saver besides battery optimizations. 
and these are the OnePlus screen of gestures like camera, music, flashlight, haptic feedback. And then from here you can customize the alert slider functions. And then here we have the DOS Plus which is a battery saving feature like ambient display, hand wave and then pocket. Device tweaks like halo plug. So these are the ROM specific features. And if you go into the menu you can find the applications chromium is the default browser and then here you have the phonograph as the default music player and you can find other default applications overall i'm really impressed with the customizability and the performance of this rom and i really recommend this rom to you guys so go ahead and check out and let me know your comments in the comment section below if you want to know about the camera here is the default oneplus auction camera and if you want to know how to install any custom rom on your oneplus 2 i will provide a link in the description from that you can find out and besides i'll be leaving this link to the xda page you see the xda developer and you can find and download this from this download latest build link so go ahead and download the latest build and then go and open the g apps download and then flash it through TWRP. So that all you can find in the installation instruction video. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe for more.